Okay, now we're moving on to adding rudiments. We just touched on flams in the last lesson and adding those into your fills and even to a degree in the context of a beat. But what about other rudiments? Paradiddles, roughs, ratam cues, double stroke rolls, single stroke rolls. They all have a place on the kit. It's not just for drum core and for drum lines, but it can be used on your drum kit as well. So let's start with paradiddles. In the truest sense, a paradiddle is an accented first note. It's a 16th note pattern played hand to hand for the first two notes and then doubled up on the third and fourth note. That's how a paradiddle is typically played in the truest context of a rudiment. But that isn't always necessarily functional when it comes to playing drums in a beat setting. Can't very well be going... Kind of sounds odd, but we can use the pattern of hand to hand and then two on the, on the one hand for the last two notes. And we can do it within the context of the beat. John Bonham was a great one to use paradiddles and, 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 and roughs in his playing. And that's a particular very Bonham-esque beat, if I can use Bonzo-esque beat, if I can say that. But what happens if we want to do it on the toms? We can do that too in a fill. And that adds, again, some flavor to our fills. Now, it's not something that you're consciously going to practice doing. It's something that's going to naturally migrate in. And the first step is to practice paradiddles alone, just on the snare. And ideally, keep a pulse going. What's do, what that's doing is getting internalized, getting that, that, that rudiment internalized into your mind subconsciously that you don't think about when you're playing it. And then from there, we can move on to adding rolls into your fills and even into your beats.